Yes, I'm Dr. Christopher Arpey. I'm one of the professors of dermatology at the Mayo Clinic in the Department of Dermatology, and I'm one of the dermatologic surgeons here. I'm going to be speaking with you today about squamous cell carcinoma of the skin. This is one of the commonest skin cancers. Uh, in fact, it's the second commonest skin cancer there is. Uh, it originates in the outermost layer of the skin, and it's usually related to the sun. Less commonly, it can be related to other conditions such as uh, prior radiation treatments, uh, genital warts on genital skin, uh, old burn scars, um, chronic wounds, and a few other rare inherited conditions. This is a highly treatable and curable form of skin cancer, and we treat many cases of this form of cancer at Mayo Clinic each year. Uh, occasionally, this skin cancer can spread to other locations, unlike the commonest form of skin cancer, basal cell skin cancer. When it does spread, it may spread to lymph glands and occasionally it will spread to the lungs. But if it's caught early and treated early, the cure rates are very high. Once in a while, this skin cancer will develop around the mouth and people that are heavy smokers or heavy alcohol users are at higher risk for developing this form of skin cancer around the mouth. People that are at highest risk for developing such skin cancers typically have fair skin and light eyes. They may also have light hair because they're more, those folks are more susceptible to the damages of sunlight. Uh, a person with a history of extensive sun exposure, an outdoor job or outdoor hobbies, and those who have had sunburns in the past are also at higher risk. Uh, if you have a family history of skin cancer, uh, those people are also at higher risk for developing squamous cell skin cancer and other forms of common skin cancers. A specialized group of people that are at increased risk for getting uh, squamous cell carcinoma of the skin are those who have undergone organ transplantation. Those patients have immune suppression and are on medications that make them more susceptible to the development and sometimes to the spread of this skin cancer. The symptoms and appearance of squamous cell carcinoma of the skin uh, are usually a lump or bump on the skin that doesn't resolve after one to two months. This is typically a reddish or skin colored bump that may look warty or scaly on the surface, but it typically has more substance underneath the base of it than your typical wart would. Um, these lesions are typically not brown, black, or tan as melanoma skin cancers would be. They are sometimes tender and they will sometimes bleed, but often are uh, crusty on the surface. They can start as a flatter scaly pink or red spot. These areas are also known as actinic keratoses or sun damage spots. Um, and the most common locations for developing these are on the head and neck skin, arms, legs, and other sun exposed areas of the skin. Now the treatment for this is uh, varied, but typically involves uh, surgery, surgical removal, often with a local anesthetic. Sometimes we use what's known as Mohs micrographic surgery where the cancer is removed in disc-like thin layers and the tissue is checked under the microscope while the patient waits. Uh, we use a map to outline exactly where the skin cancer originated from and go back only to that area should there be a little bit left when we look under the microscope and then the area is repaired. Another way of treating these is to remove them by what's called a shave technique where the uh, removal is done instead of vertically, it's done more horizontally and a little bit more shallowly than it would be for the larger or more aggressive appearing tumors. And after that, they can be scraped and sometimes either cauterized or treated with a strong liquid nitrogen spray. Occasionally, these skin cancers are treated with radiation therapy, either as a primary form of therapy or sometimes the radiation is used in conjunction with other types of treatments. Uh, once in a while, if the skin cancers are shallow, uh, topical uh, creams can be rubbed on, topical chemotherapeutic agents, and sometimes oral or even injectable forms of chemotherapy can be used. For people that develop many of these lesions, uh, most of these are uh, patients who are in the organ transplant group. There are some oral medications that can be used to suppress the growth of multiple such lesions. And sometimes we uh, are involved with other specialists here at Mayo Clinic uh, to develop, deliver multidisciplinary care where it takes a coordinated effort to give a person with a higher risk 
cancers or those in high risk locations particularly good and thorough care. Um, the services that we often work with are plastic surgeons, ear, nose and throat doctors, uh, radiation therapists, sometimes general surgeons, orthopedic surgeons, urologists, and sometimes hematologist oncologists. Uh, final word here for uh, folks who are at higher risk or have had a skin cancer in the past is a word about prevention. And as always, uh, sun avoidance and sun protection is very important. Try to use sunblock when outdoors for more than 10 or 15 minutes. Check your skin every month, and if you see any new or suspicious uh, changes in uh, previously existing skin lesions, you should have them checked out. Um, we are very experienced here at Mayo Clinic, and I want to reassure anyone watching uh, this video that if you do develop squamous cell carcinoma of the skin, it is highly treatable and curable and carries an overall excellent prognosis. Thank you for listening.